Right, I'm just going to drop a camera here. Don't worry, this isn't going to be our final camera. Um, it's just for a while, um, you know, we're solving, while well, working on the look of the smoke. Um, you know, you can copy them if you want, but I'm probably going to change it later. I'm also just going to move the light quickly as well. Uh, probably look through it and let's see if I just, I'm just kind of turning it randomly. See how that looks. No, still, let's see. Try again. Still seems a bit funny. Um, once again, let's try it again. Oh, it's because we need to click this when we're moving the light. I think that's why. Let's try that. Bit better. I'm going to move it a bit more. Kind of hard to see it. There we go. Yeah, that looks better. Just kind of picking up the edges there. Okay, up to you again if you want to copy that. I'm, you know, we're going to be completely changing this later, um, purely for um, working on the look of this smoke. And uh, just want to look through this camera so we have something, um, you know, because I want flipbooks with comparison. So um, yeah, so let's talk about the settings within the actual, you know, in the simulation itself. So first of all, sourcing. So as I said before, coming here, <coughs> excuse me, into the source, we've got um, density, temperature, and velocity. So anything else we don't need, we can leave them here. Here won't cause a problem. Burn and flame are for um, fire, but we can get rid of that. Um, everything else we need. Um, you can see here we've got different ways of um, the, the kind of math of bringing it in. So the operation here. We got add, you can copy it in, subtract, multiply. Um, for temperature here, they've got it set up to pull, which is, I think it's kind of like, um, you know, if, if the temperature coming in is higher than, the, the source is higher than what's here, then it'll kind of move it towards this temperature. And if it's lower, it will move it towards, sorry, not move it towards this, move it towards the source temperature at this rate. And if it's lower, then it will move it at this rate. So, you know, it won't. Um, I'm just going to set it to add so they're all the same, nice and simple. Um, be careful with them. Um, obviously, the, the velocity is a vector, so change that um, to a, a, a vector a volume. So that's all fine. Um, set up for us, and then we, once you source it, we export it out here. Again, we don't have any um, fire, so we can get rid of um, temperature. I'm going to convert it to VDB because it will be um, just a bit, the file, smash, uh, file <laughs> the file size will be a little bit smaller. Um, simulation here, I'm not going to do anything there. You go global sub steps if you want, but then we've also got other sub steps that we can look at. Look here, um, you know, that's just for the viewport, viewport here, won't change anything on the actual. Um, on the actual material itself unless you know you can get the look you know get it looking how you like and then create a material here if you want uh solving yeah it comes with the dissipation on but i'm going to turn that off all of these we're going to do uh in here basically okay we're going to do them elsewhere we're going to add some um of these things which affect the velocity and things, stuff like that um obviously this for fire we're not doing that we'll look at that um, in another week simulation here I'm going to slow it down okay uh, to 0.5 just looks a bit cooler Oops. to 0.5 so that's you know literally the speed uh, temperature I'm going to leave as they are again here temperature diffusion so you know um, hotter parts will heat up the cooler parts if we put this up um, but at the moment it won't I'm going to leave it as it is Cooling rate, uh, you know, pretty self-explanatory. How fast the, you know, we typically things don't stay the same temperature; they cool down. Ambient temperature is kind of a room temperature, and then references. So whatever is one in our source the temperature, you know, a heat of one will be this. The higher this is, the more, uh, you know, the bigger the flames will be. The the more buoyant things become, and you have the buoyancy scale there, and then the just typical kind of gravity stuff here. What else um, in the setup? So voxel size, that's going to be your, you know, the most important thing for the the quality, the detail of your simulation. If I zoom in on this, I'm coming out. Oops, easy. I press Z. 
uh, control Z and click on my lock here so I don't move the camera. So you can see that's pretty low resolution now. And if I, you know, if I put this up, you'll see even less. Uh, I'm going to set this to 0.1. And then also a thing that people typically do is copy this parameter and set the same um, thing to the voxel size. Okay, so I'm just going to select that. So that's in the when we're converting this. Paste relative reference there. Get rid of these numbers. I don't know where they where they come from. Okay, so we get the same number there. And then also the pyro source when we're generating the points, the particle separation, we can just paste it in here. Okay, right click, paste relative references. Get rid of that. And there we go. Okay, so um, I'm going to come back down here and then set this for the moment. Let's do something like 0 0.04. Probably I will bring it down again. Um, anything else I'm going to do? Okay, yeah, so the boundaries. So we can set a size, maximum size, but I'll just leave that um, as it is. Okay, so obviously it's a sparse solver, so wherever there's smoke, that's where we'll be, which, where we'll be active. But we can set a limit to that with this. Um, but, you know, we're, I'm just going to leave it. But I'm going to... Basically, it's like adding a ground plane is set um, wires closed below zero. So no, the smoke will actually collide with zero here if it's closed. Okay. Um, let me think. I think that's all I want to do for the moment. Okay. Uh, maybe just add a couple of sub steps. Not really a good idea. I'm just going to set these both to two. Okay. So we have at least two sub steps. Well, we will we'll always have two sub steps now um, for, for our sim. Um, so I'm going to jump into my camera, make this full screen, and then run a flipbook with this. Let's just do, don't need loads, I'll do 100 frames. And then um, we'll come back to this and add some, some other noises. <laughs> 